Hello mga katuto, welcome to One on One TV and Tutorials. Ang lesson natin ngayon ay proving statements on triangle congruence using SAS congruence postulate. SAS congruence postulate. If the two sides and an included angle of one triangle are congruent to the two sides and an included angle of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So, meron tayo rito ang dalawang triangles. Triangle ABC and triangle DEF. At meron din tayo rito ang markings. So, segment AB is congruent to segment DE. Segment BC is congruent to segment EF. Then, angle B is congruent to angle E. Makikita nyo rito sa ating markings na meron tayong side, angle, at another side. Na kung saan, itong angle natin ay ito yung included angle. So, ito yung tinatawag na SAS, side, angle, and side. Okay, subukan nating mag-prove ng statements using SAS congruence postulate. Sample number 1. So, meron tayo rito ang given. Segment AB is congruent to segment AC. Angle BAD is congruent to angle CAD. At meron tayo rito ang two-column proof na may statements and reasons. So, lagyan natin ng markings dito. So, segment AB is congruent to segment AC. So, yun ang number one statement natin. Then, ang reason natin is given. Galing siya rito. Then, meron na tayong isang side. Next, angle BAD is congruent to angle CAD. So, yun ang number two natin. At ang reason natin ay given. Galing din siya rito. Then, meron na tayong isang angle. Next, number three. Segment AD is congruent to segment AD. At ang reason natin ay reflexive property. Then, meron na tayong side. Meron na tayong side, included angle, and side. So, therefore, triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD. At ang reason natin ay SAS congruence postulate. Kasi yung three congruent parts natin ay side, included angle, and side. Okay, let's have another example. Example number 2. O is the midpoint of segment AC and segment BD. So makikita nyo rito, meron lang tayong isang given. So ang number 1 statement natin is O is the midpoint of segment AC and segment BD. So ang reason natin is given. Segment AO is congruent to segment CO. At iyan ay definition of midpoint. At ito ay side. Then next. Segment BO is congruent to segment DO and that is definition of midpoint at side din yun. The next, angle AOB and angle COD are vertical angles at ang reason natin ay definition of vertical angles. Sabi rito, vertical angles are the angles opposite each other when two lines cross. So, meron tayo rito ang dalawang lines. Then, yung mga numbers dito, ito ay angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, and angle 4. Sabi rito, opposite angles. Ang opposite angles dito ay angle 1 and angle 3. So, ito siya. Then, angle 4 and angle 2. Ang vertical angles theorem naman, o tinatawag nating VAT, vertical angles are always congruent. So, based dito, angle 1 and angle 3, ang gagawin lang natin, lalagyan natin ng congruent sign. So that is, angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. Angle 4 is congruent to angle 2. Okay, balik tayo sa ating two column proof. So ito yung ating vertical angles. So therefore, angle AOB is congruent to angle COD. Galing din siya sa ating number 4 statement. At ang reason natin ay vertical angles theorem. So meron tayong angle. Since meron na tayong 3 congruent parts, so pwede na nating sabihin na triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD. At ang reason natin ay SAS congruence postulate. Example number 3. Segment AC is perpendicular to segment DB. And C is the midpoint of segment DB. 
So, ang ating number 1 statement ay segment AC is perpendicular to segment DB. And that is given. Yung second statement natin ay magbe-base tayo sa ating first statement. Pag sinabi nating perpendicular line, it forms a right angle. So, meron tayo rito ang symbol ng right angle. So, angle A, C, D, and angle A, C, B are right angles. At ang reason natin ay definition of perpendicular segment. Or pwede rin ang definition of perpendicularity. Sabi rito, perpendicular segment. Two lines are perpendicular if they form a 90 degrees angle where they cross. So, ang number 3 statement natin ay magbe-base tayo sa ating second statement. So, angle ACD is congruent to angle ACB. Galing din siya rito. At ang reason natin ay any two right angles are congruent. So, meron na tayong angle. Then, number 4, C is the midpoint of segment DB. At ang reason natin ay given. Then, yung fifth statement natin ay magbe-base tayo sa ating fourth statement. So, sabi rito, C is the midpoint of segment DB. So, therefore, segment DC is congruent to segment BC. And that is definition of midpoint. At ito ay side. Then, number six, segment AC is congruent to segment AC. And that is a reflexive property. And that is also a side. Then, meron na tayo rito ang three congruent parts. So, pwede na nating sabihin na triangle DAC is congruent to triangle BAC using the SAS congruence postulate. Then, ang last nating statement ay yung ating i-proof proof na segment DA is congruent to segment BA. Then, ang ating reason dito ay CPCTC. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Okay, let's have another example. Example number four. Triangle BAC is an isosceles triangle. And segment AD bisects angle BAC. So, ating number one statement ay triangle BAC is an isosceles triangle. At ang reason natin ay given. Number two. Based sa ating first statement, so that is segment AB is congruent to segment AC. At ang reason natin ay definition of isosceles triangle. And that is a side. And this is the definition of isosceles triangle. It's a triangle that has two sides of equal length. So ito yung ating equal length, yung segment AB and segment AC. Then number three, segment AD bisects angle BAC. Ang reason natin ay given. Then, ang fourth statement natin ay based sa ating third statement. So, that is, angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. And that is definition of angle bisector. At ito ay angle. At ano nga ba ang angle bisector? Sabi rito, is a line segment that divides the angle into two congruent parts. So, makikita nyo rito na yung angle 1 sa angle 2 ay congruent kasi ang sabi dito, Segment AD bisects this angle BAC. Then number 5, segment AD is congruent to segment AD. And that is reflexive property. And that is a side. Since meron na tayong 3 congruent parts, yung side, included angle, and side. So therefore, we could say that triangle BAD is congruent to triangle CAD. And that is SAS congruence postulate. So, ganyan lang mga katuto kung paano mag-prove ng statements using SAS Congruence Postulate. Para mas lalo nyo pang maintindihan ang lesson natin ngayon, pwede nyo ring sagutan ang mga sumusunod na mga tanong. Sana nakatulong ang video na ito para mas lalo nyo pang maintindihan ang lesson nyo sa mathematics. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!